Okay, so here's another one where they give us a graph. Oops, sorry, I'm moving that all around. They give us a graph and they want us to come up with the equation. Well, if you look in the notes, it tells you, let me put them in here again real quick. And there they are. So the exam two notes, no exam three notes, I mean. It says, how do you find an equation from a graph? Well, step one is take note of the vertical asymptotes and the x-intercepts, and then write the equation like this. So, okay. So let's take let's take notice of those. So this right here is pin's a little thick. This right here is a vertical asymptote. This right here is another vertical asymptote. Okay, what are the um, x-intercept points? Well, right here, that's the only x-intercept point right there. All right, and that one's going to be first power. Why? Because it passes through. I call that a P for passes through, as opposed to those that bounce like that, which we're going to have in a minute. Those are second power when they bounce because they look like a U shape and U shape is second power. So that's just a normal first power. So it's going to be Y equals K in the front. I'll just put the K in the top. It doesn't matter, front or top. It's all the same thing. And it's going to be parentheses X minus X minus. And on the bottom, it's going to be parentheses X minus X minus. And what goes here is an let me change the color to be more clear. X-intercept, X-intercept, and down here, vertical asymptote, and vertical asymptote. So remember, vertical asymptotes go on the bottom, X-intercepts on the top. And in this case, we've only got one X-intercept, huh? So we don't need two of these. We just, we only have one X-intercept. So, okay, so it's Y equals, okay, X minus, so what's the X-intercept? Two. It's the only x-intercept, the only place the graph ever hits the x-axis. And on the bottom, we have x minus and x minus. What are our two vertical asymptotes? Negative three and four, either order. The negative three here and the four there. Okay, so that's the basic setup. Now to find k, we plug in <clears throat> the y-intercept. What's the y-intercept? Well, the y-intercept is right here. And that's the point over zero down one, isn't it? That's where the graph hits the y-axis, right? This is the y-axis, this is the x-axis. So that's where the graph hits the y-axis, that's the y-intercept, plug in the y-intercept, zero, negative one. X value zero, y negative one. So put in zero for x and negative one for y, and then you can solve for k. So bring it over here. And what do we have? Negative one equals fraction k. And on the top we have x, oh, not x. And now we plugged in zero, huh? Zero minus two. And on the bottom, zero plus three, the double negative here, as you know, is positive. And zero minus four. So we plugged in the y-intercept to find k. Again, and so what do we get when we do that? <clears throat> minus one equals k times minus two over three times minus four. So that's minus one equals k times minus two over minus 12. <clears throat> you can reduce that because when there's six times the two negatives cancel. So we get negative one is k over six. That six is on the bottom because it the bigger 12 was on the bottom. And now just multiply both sides by six over one. Um, let me put that over. Six over one. So I multiply both sides by six over one. <clears throat> These cancel. K is alone, minus six. So K must be minus six. So we solve for k there. So then the formula <clears throat> is y equals minus six times, <clears throat> what was the original equation? x minus two on the top, x plus three in the bottom, and x minus four. So there we go. 
box around that. We got it. So again, recapping, how did we, how did we do it? We observe the two vertical asymptotes and the x-intercept. Vertical asymptotes go behind an x minus on the bottom. The x-intercept goes behind an x minus on the top with a k on the top as well. And then we observe the y-intercept, 0, negative 1, plug that in, 0 for x everywhere, negative 1 for y. We get this equation, and then we have to solve. So we work it out. Here we cancel negative 2 into negative 12 six times. It's k over 6. And then multiply both sides by the upside down, 6 over 1. And negative 1 times 6 over 1 is just negative 6. So k is negative 6. Put the k in as negative 6. And there is our equation.